Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to enable and use Gemini in any unsupported country or region. While this AI tool is available across many regions of the world, as you could see, this is the Google official website, but there are still some noticeable missing names in this entry. For instance, the likes of Italy, Germany and Poland are still missing. These are just some of the examples. There are quite a lot of countries which are yet not there in this list. So in this video, we'll show you how to enable and use Gemini in these unsupported countries of the world. So let's get started. The first method is using a language tweak. So in this, you will first and foremost have to change the offline speech language to English US. So launch the Google app on your phone and tap on your avatar, then tap on the settings and search for the offline speech. So let's search for offline speech recognition. Go there and make sure that the English US is there installed and it should be the topmost language. Once that is done, you will now have to change the assistant language to English as well. So let's search for the assistant language. If it's not there, then simply select assistant and choose Google assistant from there. Go to languages and make sure that the English US language is there at the top or it should be the single language or if you have multiple language, then make sure that the English US should be at the top. If that is not the case, then remove all the languages. Then first off, add the English US language and then add the rest of the languages. Once that is done, you will now have to change the discover language to English US as well. So again, go back, go back and from here, search for the discover language. So let me do that as well. Discover language and make sure to select English US. So in all these three cases, you will have to select English and the region US as well. Don't simply select English. That will not work. You will have to choose the English US language. Once you've done for all the three cases, you will now have to turn off or disable Google Assistant as well. I'll talk more about that later on. As of now, let's simply turn it off. So for that, open Google Assistant. From here, you have to go to the general section and under general, simply disable the toggle next to Google Assistant and tap on turn off. With this, Assistant has been turned off. So now you may go to a third party site such as APK Mirror and install the latest build of Google Gemini app. Once you've done the installation, launch it. And for the first time when you launch, in my case, I've already used it once or twice. For the first time when you launch, you will see a screen something like this. You will have to tap on get started and more. And after that, you may start interaction with the AI. So if you're using just the text prompt, then there is no need for assistant. So let me show you in case of text prompt, it will simply reply as it is. But in case of voice, you will have to re-enable Google Assistant and that might lead to a few issues in some cases. So let's just wait for a few seconds. So as you could see, it's taking quite a long as opposed to OpenAI's chat GPT 3.4, 3.5 or 4. This took quite a lot of time. Anyways, as you could see in case of text-based interaction, it's not a cause of concern, but once you type on the microphone, it will ask you to turn on the AI as well. Google Assistant will should be enabled now. So tap on turn on and then you could interact with it. So is AI risky for humans? So as I, I could see currently, it's interacting in the Hindi language and this might lead to a few issues. So if that is the case with you as well, if it's interacting with your secondary language, then just tap on your avatar in the Gemini app, go to the settings menu and from here select languages and make sure to remove all the other languages. So let me now remove the this language and let's select this as none so that we only have the English US language. As of now, the secondary language is in the beta state. So let me show you once again what I'm saying. If I add a secondary language such as Hindi Bharat, as you could see, it's currently in the beta state and that is why it's not able to function along the expected lines. So for the time being, I will recommend you to remove the secondary language and just select none and make sure you only have the single language, which is the English US. Once that is done, let's try again. So let's now check out the results. So tap on the audio. Is AI risky for humans? So let me see how it responds this time around. It should now work without any issues. So as you could see, it's now working and it has got all the text. If you want to listen in the audio form, just tap on the audio icon and it will show you. I has the potential to be both beneficial and risky for humans. 
apart from that you may also use the image and manipulate and do the image tweaks as well so guys this was the first method through which you could install gemini in an unsupported region next up involves using the vpn so let me show you that as well so first of all you have to install a vpn app of your choice any app will do so as of now i am using the turbo vpn you may install the app from play store once you have installed it tap on open and then tap on agree and continue since it's a free app you might view a few ads that is along the obvious line so now you will have to tap on first of all it will ask you to send notification it's completely your choice as of now i'll tap on don't allow and now you may tap on the connect icon and you will get an ad before that you will get a connection request make sure to tap on okay and it will now find the best servers for us in the us which will take only a few seconds so we are now connected to the us washington servers and once that is done if you are currently have the gemini app installed please remove the app from your phone then go to the apk mirror site and install the app once you have installed the app launch it and then you will get this screen tap on get started tap on more and as before if you have multiple languages simply go to your profile tap on settings and as of now make sure to remove all the other languages and only have the english us language this is just for the time being because it's still in the beta stage and it might not work with all the other secondary languages so make sure to only have the english language english us and then you may interact with it using the vpn as well so guys these were the two methods do keep in mind that in the near future it might happen that google might patch this workaround but as of now both of them are working along the expected lines in the first tweak you just have to change the three languages to english us and after that turn off google assistant and then you may use the app however in case of voice interaction you might have to re-enable google assistant apart from that in the second method you just have to use a vpn and set the language to us after that install the app and launch it and then you may use it without any issues so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching